Adler Planetarium right now and it's total chaos <laughs> I think in my opinion because there's no parking space luckily we found one but you can't park here so we're staying in the car in case the cops tells us to move but right now everybody just started going that way so we think that there might be some awesome Pokemon there but because they're literally like heading over there um I don't know what it is, but we're gonna go check it out, but I'm too scared to leave the car. But we'll take care of it. We'll deal with it once, you know, if something happens. Mm -hmm. But right now, we might have to go. Oh, they're running. Oh my God, they're running, they're running. No, you can't see it. Yeah, they're running there. I don't know what's going on. Oh my God, should we go? All right, so I don't think we could leave. I don't wanna leave the car. Okay. Because there's a cop right there and they're ticketing a motorcycle right now. But I think I think what we should do is like go around again and see. But this is the Adler, guys. It's back there. It's really pu beautiful. It's really beautiful here at night. And then you can see the little um, like cityscape of Chicago. By the way, we're still driving the 2016 <coughs> Lancer. It's amazing. We just got back from our trip in Wisconsin. It was a really really good drive. But I'll explain more in the morning once we get better lighting. I just caught a sand shrew at Nether 2. Yeah. It's my very first sand shrew. Sand shrew. There we go. He's there a Pokemon type. He's the wild one. Yes. Yes. You can evolve it. Oh my god. 700, because he's new. I don't think. Okay, we gotta walk and see who's here. But I don't want Venom anymore. Raichu's here though. Wait, right there, right there. That's that? Hi. Hi. Waiting for hot dogs. I'm gonna get it. I have to get sandwich on this. You're not waiting for hot dogs. No. We have no luck. Right, you showed up, and now he's gone. Yes. You you caught him, right? Wait, no, you just saw him. Really deep. I did caught him. No, you didn't. I know. Do you want to buy a hat? Someone's selling uh, an ash hat. <gasps> me, me, me! I want to. Oh, the ash. But yeah, these are all the people. We're all zombies here. <laughs> You for Pokemon? Yeah. Okay, so what do you want? Uh, We're buying um, hot dogs and. And zones. And what? Dessert? They have popsicles. <laughs> they have popsicles. Don't worry. Blue bottom, bottom. White in the middle. White at the top. Alright, guys, we're walking to the water. We'll see what we catch here, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, but this is the skyline. So did you catch? Okay, you gotta put it down while we're walking so you don't trip and roll into the water. Come on, Ethan. Oh, I forgot you're wearing flip flops. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, over here. Over here. Okay, hold on. Okay. Oops. Is that sand? No. Hey, 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 hey. Daddy's phone had to hold on to it. Right here. <laughs> yeah, so that's Navy Pier. And then Grant Park. The Willis Tower, which we will always say it isn't little sour it will always forever be sears jen hancock is down there um shit aquarium yeah when i'm getting your bed and then this 
is Edna. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's so dark. Okay, never mind. All right, guys. So, no luck on the Raichu. No luck on uh, Dragonite. But I got a uh, Dratini one. I lost the Ponyta. Edna caught a Ponyta. I did it. Nice. Yeah. And I got another Geo dude. And what else? A bunch of shelters. A bunch. A bunch. A bunch of seals. Seal we got it. Up there. Yeah, but we're getting kicked out now, so that's it for the planetarium. I think it's a good thing to come here in, during the day and not park here because it's a mess. So, yeah. I want to show you guys. What? 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 Why what? we got what? kicked out? At that because it's late. I yeah. told you. Oh, they're late. Yeah, see, I, I'm going to show you guys, everybody else. They're getting kicked out. They're leaving, but like there's a bunch of people there, and then there's a bunch like right there. Uh -huh. Right? It's yeah. crazy. But yeah, so we're leaving. I'm gonna come back here again. Maybe next time we're gonna commute. What do you think? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, um, the planetarium is a really good spot, just not at night. I guess everything comes out at night. That's what they're saying. It's really, really packed here. So, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Where are you? I can't even <coughs> see you in the dark. Bye. Hold on. It's okay. Okay. Bye. I thought that I should show you guys the 2016 Mitsubishi Lancer um, this is exactly called what is it exactly called it's the Lancer SEL AWC I keep forgetting those letters um, mind you this car was driven to Wisconsin and back and it was about 300 miles and that was such an amazing drive because up in Wisconsin the speed limit goes higher than it is in Illinois so up there was between 70 and 75 so I got to kind of test out the 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 speed of this car or, <clears throat> excuse me it handles really really well and I I have been in the market for smaller sedans and this just jumped into like my number one list because my daughter sits so comfortably back there she was having the time of her life because it's so roomy regardless if it's this is like the smaller sedans and also driving this car in the highway I was so impressed because we were like switching lanes so smoothly and this car feels heavy but like it's, it's just it's just great i feel like these cars and also mazdas are built for racing and so everything in here i was like huh i was pretty impressed mind you this car is the very basic version and also it didn't come with the navigation which was kind of hard for me because i had to plug in um i had to bring out my phone and i don't want to do that while driving but nonetheless um this has uh the serious satellite um you have the Sirius satellite, you could always plug in your USB, but we couldn't find the port for that, so I don't think it comes with it. But all of the, the AC, the heat is over here. Um, there's also like a compartment here, and then this one really goes really, really deep. You could plug here like an adapter so you could still charge your phone, but it won't connect to the car. This car has a two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive lock, so when it snows, this is something you would want to have. You get heated and cooling seats the navigation didn't really turn me off however I want to show you guys I want to show you guys this really quick doesn't that look like a cat I was driving last night and then I noticed that the ears are like <laughs> it's like cat shaped it was really cute I think I showed you guys this already this doesn't have the blind spot monitor or the lane departure warning area but I guess this is where they will go also this car has an eco mode so that's when you know your car is driving at its most efficient I was confused about this originally and I just figured out that because or it depends on how 
um, eco I'm driving, it will tell me like I'm this much miles till gas. But I always look at this one instead, so I'm almost, you know, on empty. But that's not that's not bad at all. This car I think gets you about 28 local and then 31 like 28 city and then 31 highway and then this is only a 2.4 and this car is only a 2.4 liter and then it's a four-cylinder car but it doesn't feel like a four-cylinder car it packs on so much power and i haven't been this impressed with a little car like this in so long <sighs> it, it, it was such a it was such a very comfortable ride for us I will say that. So I highly recommend the 2016 Mitsubishi Lancer. This isn't even like the whole Evo thing and I felt like people were kind of trying to race us just because it's a Lancer and this can keep up. I'm just saying that. So I want to show you guys really quick. I don't think like there's so many compartments especially for long drives like there's some there and then there's also some in the back. You guys can see that. like. It's very, like, there's so much room everywhere that you could just put everything for everybody to make them all comfortable. Oh, I forgot to mention to you guys, this has a keyless entry, but you still have to, like, turn the ignition on physically, but this already has that, so I think that's also a plus. See, this is the ignition that I was telling you. Like, you literally just have to, like, have your keys with you or somewhere there. You could turn this, but I... I have the habit of like pressing the brakes which I'm not sure if you're supposed to do the same I mean I'm not I'm not sure if you're supposed to do it at the same time but I always do it anyways but that's that's no big deal because you don't have to like take this out of your purse regardless because it's still considered like a keyless entry so yeah I just want to point it out to you guys you guys see my flip flops hey.